Cow Horse is a family affair at the Lucas Oil American Quarter Horse Association World Championship Show in Oklahoma City. Husband, wife, and dad all made the senior working cow horse final. It's really cool to have that happen. This Colorado cowboy is making his third trip to the AQHA World Show. He won a championship the first three times, but he's not expecting a four-peat. When I left the house, I wasn't nervous at all coming down here. I was like, there ain't no way this is going to happen four times in a row. In Your Horse Inside and Out, sponsored by Beringer Ingelheim, Dr. Joe Carter shows us the new standing MRI that allows veterinarians to get precision fused through magnetic resonance imaging without the dangers of putting a horse under anesthesia. And a new coliseum is in the works for Oklahoma City. We'll get a sneak peek coming up on Horse of the West. The Western horse was a master of a hard world, pitted for centuries against half-wild bovines. Ferocious predators, brutal weather, and the sheer size of the country they had to cover. Their descendants are still nimble, fast, and courageous, with a rock-solid disposition that makes them beloved the world over. In this next half hour, you'll see them in action here on Horse of the West. Welcome to Oklahoma City and the American Quarter Horse Association World Show. It deserves that name. It's the largest single breed championship show in the world. 4,500 entries in English and Western disciplines. Working cow horses are focused this week, and we start with the junior championship final for horses five and under. First up, Brad Lund of Lacine, Kansas, on board Cat's Wooden Heart by NRCHA $2 million sire, WR This Cat Smart. Brad has multiple AQHA world titles in roping, but would really like to win one in cow horse. Got close, but no cigar yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna quit trying though. Brad's got a nice horse to try on here at the Junior Cow Horse Final. This is a four-year-old that uh, Chris Dawson trained. It's Jack Bogart owns it. And uh, I, Jack sent it to me to start roping on. We showed him the cow horse a little bit and Chris trained him and I'm just a jockey. He stayed with me through the raining and felt like he was pretty good on a cow. I don't know what they'll score me, but we got through it pretty decent, I think. The judges award Brad Lund and Cat's Wooden Heart a 218 in the rain work, a 220 on their cow for a total of 438. Luke Jones is from Allerton, Iowa, and he has a pair of horses qualified for this AQHA Junior Working Cow Horse Final. This is the first Just Making a Scene by NRHA $2 million sire, Very Smart Remedy. Yes, yeah, she's a four-year-old mare that uh, I've had since she was two. She's a Very Smart Remedy daughter out of a daughter highbrow cat, and we made uh, the uh, finals on her at the NRCHA Stallion Stakes this year and been showing her at the Derbies all year and then she's a finalist here tonight at the AQHA World Show as well. Her barn name is Razzie. Uh, she is the sweetest mare to get along with. Huge stopper, always a big fence horse, you know, cuts good. She's just wonderful mare. Really tries hard, a lot of, a lot of grit. I just think a lot of her. So do the judges giving Luke Jones and just making a scene a 219 in the reigning and a 221 for their cow work. That's a score of 440 and the lead. Ben Baldus of Bowie, Texas says his mare, Lady Wildcatter by Highbrow Cat, is talented, quirky, and quick-footed. Not, you know, as far as the training goes, it's like warming her up and getting her ready, just kind of keep her feet moving, keep her trot, and you don't have to do a lot of maneuvers because she's talented and she has a big stop and a quick turn. It's just keeping her mind busy and keeping her feet moving. Benjamin Baldus and Lady Wildcatter, owned by Bob and Kate Ballou, earn a 217 in the reigning and a 218 in their cow work for a 435. Les Oswald also earns a 435 on board Looks Like Luck to Me, sired by Smart Boons and owned by Noreen Barclay and Peggy Thompson. Now here's NRCHA Hall of Fame member Todd Crawford of Blanchard, Oklahoma, on Robert and Allison Light's Bet Lucky 13 by Bet He's a Cat. These two were reserve champions here at the World Show last year. I got him uh, in the fall of his two-year-old year, and he's been real good to train. Uh, he's, he's very consistent, and he has pretty much the same kind of run most every time and he's he's very easy to train and he's a nice horse. Todd Crawford shows his reigning background earning the highest score so far at 221 and a half. But the cow work doesn't go quite as well for him. A 214 and a half will give Todd and Bet Lucky 13 a 436, which is gonna slide them into third, so there's still a chance for that bronze globe. 
Here's another rider who shows in both the National Reining Horse Association and the NRCHA, Ricky Nicolazzi. He's an Italian based in Scottsdale, Arizona, riding Metallic Rays by NRCHA Million Dollar Sire Metallic Cat. This is Ricky's first AQHA World Championship final. This four-year-old, owned by Sarah Davis, is a breakout horse for Ricky. He showed great all year long. He was fifth at the Derby. I was uh, third at the Derby in, in Vegas and uh, second on the Intermediate. I mean, he showed great all year, and then he made the final year. He performed great for me today. A 219 in the reigning and a 217 and a half in the cow work will give Ricky a 436 and a half and move him past Todd Crawford by half a point to take over that bronze trophy position. Matt Cook has made three previous trips to the AQHA World Show and come home with working cow horse world titles each time. Matt, who just established his own training facility in Alt, Colorado, is back here at the World Show in the finals on board Opus Catalina, owned by Boxo Quarter Horses and sired by WR This Cat Smart. That past success took all the pressure off Matt this year. When I left the house, I wasn't nervous at all coming down here. I was like, there ain't no way this is gonna happen four times in a row, so I'm just gonna show him he's either gonna be good or he's not. So I didn't even get, out of, get him out of his stall today until we come out here to go show. That's not terribly unusual for Matt, who generally tries to keep his horses very fresh. You really seem to work on making sure your horses are fresh. Yeah, and I like to try to keep them as happy as possible and, and just let them go do their job, and hopefully we're prepared at home to come to town. Well, Opus Catalina was apparently ready to come to town. Here in Oklahoma City, he earns a solid 216 and a half in the reigning, but then lays down a scorching run down the fence for a 226 and a half, the highest mark of the final so far. That gives Matt Cook a 443 and a three point lead over Luke Jones and just making a scene. Luke's back now with the final horse and a chance to take over the lead on Ken Schuler's Metallic Dual Pep by NRCHA Million Dollar Sire Metallic Cat. This four year old gelding came back from a stifle injury to earn top 10 spots in several major events this year. He is a really a cool physical horse. Um, very quirky horse. He's not for just everybody. He's got a quite a unique personality, but he is uh, um, does things with all of his might and in, in his entire body. He's just a, really a cool horse, but he's uh, he's definitely different minded. Luke has metallic dual pep ready to show, and they earn a strong 219 in the reigning. It's going to come down to the fence work. Luke needs a big 224 and a half to take the championship. He and Metallic Dual Pep do well, earn a 221 and a half, and that will be enough to take the reserve championship and the silver AQHA globe home with them. Luke will also take home the bronze trophy on Tom and Melissa Sims, just making a scene. And Matt Cook is now batting a thousand. Four trips to the AQHA World Show and four Cow Horse Championship trophies. This time, he earns the gold globe in the junior Cow Horse on Boxo Quarter Horses, Opus Catalina. So how does it feel now, number think, four? I don't think it's sunk in yet, so. <laughs> Where are you gonna put all these? Do you have a trophy room? Are you, you know, are they on the hood of your car? What do you? Yeah, yeah they're set in the trophy room and then the owners have some. So yeah, there's, there's plenty of room and plenty of them to go around, I guess. I guess. Coming up, we'll watch the action in the AQHA Senior Working Cow Horse Championship Final from State Fair Park in Oklahoma City. And later in Your Horse Inside and Out with Dr. Joe Carter, the new standing MRI, the latest imaging without the dangers of anesthesia for your horse. You're watching Horse of the West on RFD-TV, presented by the Oklahoma City Convention and Visitors Bureau. If you've been waiting for the perfect time to buy Inside Reining Training Secrets DVDs, this is it. While supplies last, order all nine for just $59.99 with free shipping in the continental U.S. Learn training secrets from Hall of Fame members like Sean Flareda and Tim McQuay and nearly all of NRHA's Million Dollar Riders. It's the best deal ever and only while supplies last. Buy Inside Reining Training Secrets DVDs at InsideRaining.com or call 405-399-3122. Welcome back to Horse of the West. The historic Norick Arena in Oklahoma City has seen more equine champions crowned than any other coliseum in the world. It's been the home of the American Quarter Horse Association World Show for more than 40 years. 
99 World Championships will be won here on board the versatile American Quarter Horse, which excels above all others in the world of reining and cow horse. Galloping into the spotlight next are the finalists for the AQHA Senior Working Cow Horse World Championship for horses ages 6 and up. We saw Brad Lund in the Junior Cow Horse Final, and he's got a horse qualified for Senior. Also, this is FS Vintage Sidekick, a 10-year-old gelding by Starbucks Sidekick. We call him Vinny, and he's uh, like this horse won sixth in the ranch riding. He's just really easy. You know, I can't say that he's great at anything, but he's good at a lot of stuff. We rope on him also. He made the finals of the Senior Head, so he's a good boy. Brad, an FS Vintage sidekick, earned a 217 and a half in both the reining and the cow work for a 435 total. Luke Jones has two horses qualified in the senior final. This is the first, Dell and Terry Hendricks Wrangler by NRHA Million Dollar Sire Starlight's Wrangler. This horse, nicknamed Toy, is in the running for AQHA Super Horse. Um, I'm showing him in the calf roping tomorrow. I showed him here in the cow horse. Um, got to show him in the reining yet and the halter. Um, to get back to the reason his name is Toy is because he's so much fun to ride. He's like riding around a little toy, <laughs> and it's a, he is a cool horse, wonderful horse. Owner Del Hendricks is a million dollar rider in the NRHA, and he trained this horse in reining. Luke shows off Del's work and his own, earning a 220 in that part of the program. Down the fence, they come away with a 213 and a half for a total of 433 and one half. Now here's B.J. Avila riding a nine-year-old gelding named Dara Cat by NRCHA Million Dollar Sire, smooth as a cat. Very kind horse. He's just timid, you know. Very good down the fence. I kind of feel like a monkey strapped to border collie when I go down the wall on him. He's kind of autopilot, you know. I just put him in the right spot and he takes care of me. The owner of Dara Cat is a New Yorker who runs a business packaging company in Rochester. I have a, a person that works for the company that lives in Temecula. And uh, when I go out in business every once in a while, you know, he's really into this rain cow horse. I just tried it one time, you know, tried riding, liked it. BJ and Tony Arena's Dara Cat take over the lead in this AQHA World Championship final, earning a score of 220 in both the reining and the cow work for a score of 440. We're not sure if this is history making, but a father, son, and daughter-in-law all qualified for this final. Morgan Libert, his son Christian Libert, and Christian's wife Danielle are all riding. Um, it's actually pretty neat, obviously. Uh, my dad, uh, I, I grew up with my dad being a horse trainer and following his footsteps. And then I've been married for about six years, I think, almost seven years. And my wife's also in the finals. Um, so it's really neat, actually, to be, you know, there's, I don't know, 60-something in the prelims, then get the top 15 and three of us family members for sure and he comes over and rides quite a bit and we all get along great so works out good. Danielle married into the cow horse world. And I actually used to train Western Pleasure Horses and about five years ago I think when I met Christian you know um, the first couple years he wouldn't let me ride his cow horse but then I finally I was like hey I want to do the cow horse and so I just you know started doing this and I love it and I haven't looked back this cow horse family and it's amazing you know everybody's rooting for everybody uh, you know when they when you need help they're there for you and vice versa, you know, and so I couldn't ask for a better horse show family. We're trying to keep it that way. The world doesn't want that to happen, but we're trying to, in the cow horse world, we're, we're really trying to get it to grow and find out, get people involved in it, and so they can get along and be fun and have fun with us. Christian Libert earns family bragging rights with the highest score of the three family members in the final. On board Ken Jones, Mr. Dual Pepinick by NRCHA Million Dollar Sire, Mr. Dual Pep. In fact, Christian will take the lead with a 441. 217 and a half in the reining and a 224 down the fence. And he is a he's a standoffish horse, but he is a very give him cookies, love on him. He ha, he has uh, he's he's great. We love him. Corey Cushing of Scottsdale is a multiple AQHA world champion and he has two horses qualified for this senior final. He is fresh off a big win at the prestigious NRCHA Snaffle Bit Futurity. Corey earns a 438 on Eric and Wendy Dunn's Sippin' Boone's Farm by Smart Boone's. But on his second horse, he does even better. This is The Crowd Loves Me by NRCHA $3 million sire, Smart Chickalina, out of the big time producer, Shine Smartly. Corey and The Crowd Loves Me lay down a gorgeous pattern for the highest reigning score of the night, a 225 and a half. And then they rock it down the fence as well, earning a 224 and a half in the AQHA Senior Working Cow Horse World Championship. Corey, what a year. No.
Yeah. You act so easygoing, but yeah, I guess it, you know it's a lot of work and a lot of everything. It's a lot of work. Um, you know, I'm just so blessed. I got a <clears throat> such fantastic horses and customers. Um, you know, it's a, it's a huge effort, team effort for my wife and my crew, customers trusting me with. I mean, any any thoughts, ideas, game plans. I mean, it's uh, it, it, it's so great, and uh, yeah, I'm so lucky. Owner Lindsay Wadham says she saw this horse on a poster in Reno, but didn't think she could afford him. Long story short, we ended up buying him. I went and rode him, and I knew from the first trot he was mine. And now the AQHA Senior Working Cow Horse title is hers as well, on The Crowd Loves Me, ridden by NRCHA Million Dollar Rider Corey Cushing. Your Horse Inside and Out with Dr. Joe Carter, sponsored by Beringer Ingelheim. You hear a lot of talk these days about MRI and are doing an MRI on a horse to figure out its lameness problem. Well, MRIs are just one part of different types of modalities or ways that we can image a horse's leg. We can use x-rays, which look at bone. We can use ultrasound, which looks at soft tissue. Or we can do an MRI, which actually looks at both. Here at Oklahoma Equine Hospital, we have a standing MRI. A standing MRI is this C-shaped MRI that allows you to, to look at the horse while they're standing and, and, and scan the horse's leg compared to a donut-shaped MRI where you have to knock the horse out and stick his leg in through a hole, which is not near as safe as doing a, a, a standing MRI. But with an MRI, what you're doing is this very powerful magnet and radio frequency waves are basically uh, going through the horse's leg and then those uh, signals are caught on uh, a sensor and that's sent to a computer that creates an image. And this image will allow us to look at the bone and the soft tissue, which is the tendons and ligaments in a horse's uh, leg or foot. So let's go uh, over here to the computer and take a look at the MRI, uh, MRI images we've gotten from this horse's foot. So one of the cool things about an MRI is that you're looking at soft tissue and bone and you're taking little slices of the horse's leg all the way across and you're doing it in three different dimensions. Like an x-ray, you'd just be taking it in one dimension or an ultrasound, you're taking it across this dimension. On an MRI, we're looking at it this way, this way, and that way. So here's a horse's foot and you can see in this picture, we've got this dark line going down the back here, that's the deep flexor tendon. This is the navicular bone, the coffin bone, the pastern bone, and the long pastern bone. Now, one of the things, we can't look at tendons with an ultrasound in the foot because remember, ultrasounds can't get through hard tissue. So we can't shoot that ultrasound wave through a hoof. We have to use an MRI to actually look at this tendon that goes down and we're discovering all kinds of injuries that we didn't know about in the horse's foot and now we're also discovering great new ways to treat them and i'm dr joe carter with your horse inside and out your horse inside and out is sponsored by Beringer Ingelheim. before making any decisions about your horse's health be sure to contact your veterinarian if you've been waiting for the perfect time to buy inside reining training secrets dvds this is it while supplies last order all nine for just 59.99 with free shipping in the continental u.s Learn training secrets from Hall of Fame members like Sean Flareda and Tim McQuay and nearly all of NRHA's Million Dollar Riders. It's the best deal ever and only while supplies last. Buy Inside Reining Training Secrets DVDs at InsideRaining.com or call 405-399-3122. Western Perform It's been the home of the National Reining Horse Association Futurity since 1986. Great history there, but the fact is we're all spoiled and we're used to an NBA type experience now where you have uh, great sight lines, you have great lighting, you have great food amenities, and that's, that's what our, our consumer is demanding. So plans are in the work for a new Coliseum, which will be built adjacent to the Norwick Arena to avoid disrupting the 200 event days a year the current Coliseum is in use. With help from the equine associations that use the Coliseum, officials at State Fair Park have developed several key mandates for the new facility. It still needs to connect to, the, to our stalling facility. We, we are the largest contiguous stalling facility in North America and maybe in the world. 
And so we certainly want to create that and, and, and preserve that for the, for the end of the show. So that the ability to create a, a large connector with a warm up area into the new arena. We're also looking at a cattle return area. So some areas where we can move cattle and, and, and horses for some shows. Plus a concourse that is not separated from the competition arena. But then the arena itself, uh, the open concourse is, is, is an essential concept. It allows the um, consumer to see what's going on on the floor at all times when they get up and walk around the building, whether they're buying concessions, going to the restrooms, going to talk to somebody in another area, or just want to stand up and walk around. It, it's a very open concourse that you can move throughout it and see what's going on on, on the field of play all the time. It's huge because uh, they don't have to lose contact with the event if they, you know, run get a hot dog or if they want to go look at something in the trade show. They're going to be, they're going to be right there and they're going to be able to see what's, what's going on. It also allows us the opportunity to try and maximize the seating in the lower bowl so we can create a more um, intimate atmosphere for smaller crowds. Um, and then we'll have the capacity with a second level with um, retractable seating to increase the capacity if it's necessary for the event. And better options for hospitality. And it no longer is it a, an accessory, it's a requirement. And so with the skyboxes and all the things they'll be doing with that new facility, that, that will help that a ton. Funding options are still on the table and design plans are not yet final, but everybody agrees the new Coliseum is a necessity for Oklahoma City. Many people uh, set out with this vision 40 some years ago to create uh, not only a, a year-round tourism destination at the fairgrounds, but in particular to make Oklahoma City the horse show capital of the world. And they had a great vision and a, and a great idea, and it's our job to maintain it and keep it going forward. You're watching Horse of the West on RFD-TV, presented by the Oklahoma City Convention and Visitors Bureau. If you've been waiting for the perfect time to buy Inside Reining Training Secrets DVDs, this is it. While supplies last, order all nine for just $59.99 with free shipping in the continental U.S. Learn training secrets from Hall of Fame members like Sean Flaherty and Tim McQuay and nearly all of NRHA's million dollar riders. It's the best deal ever and only while supplies last. Buy Inside Reining Training Secrets DVDs at InsideRaining.com or call 405-399-3122. Welcome back to Horse of the West. Getting involved in cow horse may be easier than you think. Both the American Quarter Horse Association and the National Rain Cow Horse Association offer boxing classes where you don't have to run a cow down the fence. A lot of people who aren't comfortable around cattle or going that fast or whatever, they don't want to just jump in and go right down the fence. So by creating those boxing classes where they just box that cow at the end, uh, it's, it's been a huge success for us and it's been a great entry level uh, class for those people to come and get their feet wet and be a part of this industry. And in the NRCHA, the first year of membership is free. To learn more about NRCHA classes and membership or to read Rain Cow Horse News online, go to nrcha.com or call 940-488-1500. You can find out more about getting involved in the AQHA at aqha.com. And be sure to watch in the weeks ahead for Horse of the West coverage of NRCHA World's Greatest Horsemen, the AQHA Junior and Senior Reigning World Championships, the Reigning Horse Foundation Boot Camp from Arizona Reigning Horse Association's Best of the West show, and more. See you then.